We've got a nice fall weekend on the way, but we are still going to see some fluctuations, some ups and downs in the temperature. Of course, it's still Thursday, uh, but starting tomorrow after a cool Thursday, we're going to warm it back up Friday and then cool it back down this weekend. The max track clear. We had a cold front go through overnight. It's already gone coastal and high pressures ridging in behind it. So that high slides east today. Tomorrow, cold front approaches. We warm back up and look at this. Pretty good shot of what looks like showers, some thunder showers coming our way, and they more or less fall apart. I think our best chance to see any kind of precipitation out of this will be a few showers tomorrow evening, overnight, into Saturday morning as this front slowly slides through. But you see how moisture deprived it is. It is not going to help out much at all with this ongoing rainfall deficit that we continue to see. And then high pressure slowly builds in for the remainder of the weekend. So most of the accumulating rain is going to stay well off to our north northwest. We're over two and a half inches down for the month. We've had less than a quarter of an inch for the entire month of October. At this point in the game, that puts us at our second driest October on the books. That is how incredibly dry it is. That's, of course, as of the latest climate report. We have the rest of the month to move the needle on that, but uh, we're not seeing a whole lot of rain coming our way for the rest of the month either. So we'll likely stay somewhere within that top 10. 44 degrees in Lexington. There's a chill in the air out there this morning after a warm day yesterday we hit the upper 70s we're going to be back in the upper 60s a normal high 65 and we're back in the upper 70s tomorrow the warm up and then the cool down on the back end of the front 60s possibly even going below normal by sunday so there's where you get into that fall feel and then another warm up on the way just before we get into halloween so the UK and Auburn game Saturday night out at Kroger Field looks pretty good. Clear skies. It's a 745 kickoff. So throughout the course of the game will fall from the 50s into the 40s. So I would highly recommend, you know, a hoodie, something warm uh, because it'll be a little chilly out there, especially the later in the game you go. And uh, we've got very dry air in place as well. Dew points are in the 30s and 40s, an indication of that uh, dry air. The departure from normal shows that we briefly warm up Friday, cool down this weekend, warm back up leading into Halloween. Some significant warmth potentially hanging on into early November. So anybody hoping for a consistent lingering fall chill, it's just not in the books. We're getting tastes of it. Today's one of them with highs only a couple of degrees above normal. Uh, sunny and cooler than yesterday, but then just like that, we warm back up tomorrow. Mid 40s tonight, back in the upper 70s, way above normal Friday, but that late day rain chance, some showers around. And then a couple of days of a cool down, but then you get into that sustained warmth yet again. So from Monday on all the way through Halloween, we are in the low to mid to potentially even upper 70s. And it does look like there could be a few showers and storms around as we get closer to Halloween as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for any potential impact on trick-or-treating.